Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Uh, just a quick video today. I managed to get hold of a sample dot card for eight of Schmincke's super granulating watercolours. Now I have heard about these paints of course, and I've seen that Schmincke have been releasing wooden box sets of them. But as they're not really my kind of thing, I've pretty much ignored them. Um, I think I counted nine different sets in all on Jackson's. So it seems that this dot card is a sample from eight of the sets and it's only missing one. I think it's the haze set that's missing. Okay, so the first color comes from the volcano set and it's volcano yellow. And it's made from PY159. And this one's not very easy to re-wet. I think I remember trying this pigment recently in my Winsor & Newton swatching series. Um, I think Winsor & Newton use it for their lemon yellow deep. Yeah, I definitely remember it being more lemony than this one. And next we have Tundra Orange. And this is a mix of PR233, PBR7 and PY43. Yeah, I guess this kind of looks like burnt sienna mixed with Potter's Pink. Yeah, it's quite nice. And next we have Galaxy Pink. And this is PV16 mixed with PBR33. So I guess this is manganese violet mixed with Schmincke's mahogany brown. Wow, yeah, it's a beautiful colour. I look forward to seeing this one when it's dry. And next is Deep Sea Violet. And it's PB29 mixed with PBR33. Wow, another beautiful paint. I should dig out my PBR33 and try and mix some of these myself. And next we have Glacier Green, or Glacier Green. And it's PR233 Potter's Pink mixed with PG50 Cobalt Green. Yeah, really nice. Hurts my head a bit that they call it Glacier Green. It's definitely blue, right? And next is Shire Green. And this is PY159 and PG18. Okay, it's a granulating yellowy green. Yeah, not bad. And next is Forest Brown. This is a mix of PG26, PBR7 and PY43. Hmm, I really like this colour, but yeah, the name's a bit weird. I mean, yeah, I see the brown undertone, but still weird to call a green Forest Brown, isn't it? And finally we have Desert Grey, and this is made from PY159 and PBK11. Yeah, it's another paint that's not very easy to re-wet. It is a lovely granulating brown grey though. Yeah, I like this one a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, that's all of them swatched out, and here they are when completely dry. So as I said earlier, I've not paid much attention to these paints, as they're not really my kind of thing. I'm kind of not that interested in the heavily granulating convenience colours. And while they're beautiful to look at, they don't really have much use in my day-to-day -day painting. Though I have got to say, I'm very impressed with these eight Schmincke samples. The Galaxy Pink, Deep Sea Violet, Glacier Green and the Desert Grey are all lovely. I think my favourite is the Forest Brown. I do love the green and brown separation. I feel like this one could actually be of use in my paintings maybe. So what do you think about the Schmincke Super Granulating Watercolours? Do you have any favourites and what do you use them for? And do you think I should get the dot card of the full range and make a swatching video? Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.